Over the last 12 months, there's been a sea change in attitudes from consumers, and there's no doubt that the fuel crisis, the record cost of fuel in July, that's concentrated the minds of motorists. But what they're telling us is that in the future, the type of car they buy, and indeed its fuel efficiency, will be much more important than it was in the past. Emissions and fuel economy are going to become increasingly important going forward. Even though fuel prices drop, the experience of the first uh, half of 2008 won't be forgotten by many consumers for a long time. So what we need is greener, cleaner, more fuel efficient cars out there. The Insight is a culmination of 20 years of hybrid development. Honda's been developing cleaner engines, more efficient ways of using fuel for over 40 years. It's not just in a response to a kind of recent customer demand, it's always been at the forefront of our research and development activities. It's a real core part of what the company's about. Honda has a history of being in the right place at the right time. Back in the 1970s, pollution was becoming a real problem in California. In response, the US Clean Air Act was introduced, which required manufacturers to cut emissions by 90%. Many within the industry really thought it was an impossibility to achieve. Honda responded, and within two years, we'd launched the CVCC engine. It set a new standard in clean technology, and in fact was so successful that Honda licensed the technology to other manufacturers to enable them to continue selling vehicles in California example of Honda rising to the environmental challenge and being in the right place at the right time. If you stop anyone in the street, um, all motorists will be highly engaged with climate change and everybody wants to do something about it, there's no doubt about that. But when it comes to car purchase, there are lots of other issues which override that. Comfort, performance and of course capital, capital cost. And that's one reason why the Honda Insight is going to be a very important launch. Honda's global philosophy is to be a company that society wants to exist. And it's, it's, it's this philosophy of, of wanting to have a positive impact on society that helps to explain why we're looking to bring to market a hybrid with, with wider market appeal so that more people can, can benefit. What we're seeing is other low emission or green cars coming with a price premium. Almost customers are being penalised for wanting to make the green or the clean choice. And we've got a lot of experience in producing hybrid technology, and we're using that experience and that, that understanding to bring the cost of producing hybrid technology down. As a result, we're able to make the Insight Honda's most affordable hybrid yet. If the Insight is more cost competitive, I think that's going to be very, very important um, in increasing the interest and demand for hybrids. We could have put this hybrid technology in, in high-end, premium, environmental showpieces and charged much higher prices for it. But that's, that's really not, not the Honda way. We wanted to make this technology available at a lower price and therefore accessible to the mass market. And if it comes in at a price of less than the Prius, then that's going to remove one of the barriers because people automatically assume that hybrids are not for them because they're more expensive. Just three years ago, half of all motorists didn't know what a hybrid car is. Whereas today, according to the AA poll, a third of motorists say they'd actually consider buying a hybrid car. So there has been a transformation in understanding of technology. It's undoubtedly true to say that awareness of hybrids is increasing. As well as a, as a lower purchase price, the Insight will come with all the other associated financial benefits of clean hybrid technology. So you'll pay significantly less vehicle excise duty, there's congestion charge exemptions and there's significantly lower fuel bills. And if you're a company car driver or fleet manager, there'll be national insurance savings, benefits in terms of write down allowance and critically much lower benefit in kind taxation. 
62% of AA members are saying that they will now look at the engine size and the engine type of the car, and so they'll downsize in that sense. But obviously, if you're a family with two children, you need at least a four-seater car. So downsizing can only go so far. It's a car that will appeal to the family market. A five-door hatchback with five seats and boot space bigger than a VW Golf and a Ford Focus. And if we're going to interest the, the mass consumer, then we have to offer a car that offers at least as good a performance and a, and a, and a drive experience as most cars do now. It's really because we've been building petrol-electric hybrid production cars for over a decade that we're able to bring the insight to the market with the, with the refinement and, and the customer appeal that you see in the product. The insight features Honda's petrol-electric hybrid technology. In essence, that's a standard petrol engine, which is assisted by an electric motor. Less fuel is used and there's less emissions. The electric motor is powered by a battery, which itself is recharged every time the car slows down. Not only have we made the hybrid system in the inside more lightweight and more compact than the Civic Hybrid, but the system itself has evolved. So fuel consumption and CO2 emissions will show side improvement on those that we saw in the Civic Hybrid. At the AA, we surveyed 17,500 members and we asked them about their concerns and reliability comes first. That, that's a main concern if they're buying a new car. Economy comes second. But they're also concerned about the environment. They'd also think about the way they drive that car. They'd eco-drive so they wouldn't accelerate sharply, they'd drive much more smoothly. And they do that to, one, try and save money, but two, also, to try and cut back on their CO2 emissions. EcoAssist is a new technology that guides drivers to achieving better fuel economy in real-world conditions. We can't expect all drivers to know how to drive economically. What we're aiming to achieve with the Insight is to develop a car that uses fuel efficiently and to have onboard technology that encourages drivers to adopt a greener driving approach. We're not looking to preach or, or to tell people how to drive. It's more a case of saying to them, if you want to save fuel, if you want to save money, this is how you can do it. This is the best way to drive. Cars now are much better at telling the driver how they're driving in terms of fuel efficiency. How well am I doing? So that helps the driver. You know, before many drivers just put in X pounds of fuel and didn't really know how many miles per gallon they're getting. But the high prices have concentrated the minds, the technology is helping the driver. It is possible for people to change the way that they drive. The first element of the system is, is, is a guidance function. Effectively, the speedometer will, will change colour. If you're driving efficiently, it will go green. The more aggressive your driving becomes, the speedo starts to change to a bluey green. And if you're driving you know, pretty, pretty aggressively in an unefficient manner, it will, it, it will glow blue. It's there to guide you as to, as to your driving style. The second function is, is a reward system, which is represented by tree graphics. The better you drive, the more efficiently you drive, the more tree branches appear on the dash. When you turn the ignition off, you're showing your cumulative life score, which really shows how you're progressing as a, as a green driver. The car also has an econ button, which, when pressed, switches many of the car's components into economy mode, which helps to save even more fuel. And the inside is just the start. Over the next few years, Honda will build a family of hybrids, which will appeal to an even wider audience. The car in the future, in the longer term, it may be a hydrogen fuel cell, but I think the hybrid car will help us to get there. I think when the Insight comes on the market, I think you know, a significant proportion will look and will give the hybrid serious consideration.